This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Friday, April 20th, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern for Canada, the US, and Europe over the next 72 hours. In Canada, Weekend weather for the Canadian provinces shows low temps but abundant sunshine throughout the region, but an intensely strong low pressure system may bring heavy rain and possibly snowfall for areas of Ontario through Quebec. This forecast has been changed several times by Environment Canada. Please treat all rain and snow as hazardous until further notice. In the U.S., Similar dynamics of low pressure organization and high upper level winds is causing some uncertainty about this weekend's weather. But what is for certain is the northeast will be the center of attention. Various meteorological agencies are calling for heavy rain from Michigan to New York, differing opinions about the possibility of rain versus snow. One source is even calling for up to 18 inches of snow from Buffalo to Pittsburgh. Although this scenario seems unlikely, the Weather Channel is reporting possible snowstorm for the Northeast as well, although they are extending the watch all the way to North Carolina. With this much uncertainty, it would be wise to keep tuned in to your local weather station and treat all rain or snow as potentially hazardous. This goes for the West Coast, Far South, and Florida as well, which have the potential for strong storms this weekend. In Europe, Coastal areas of the North Sea should be aware of offshore winds from the methane leak which is continuing unabated. There are also detections of iodine, cesium, beta and gamma in France, Belgium and the Netherlands as well as Croatia and Slovenia on Eurodep. Weather Online Europe shows weekend rain is expected in London, Stockholm, Berlin, Vienna, Rome, Warsaw and Bucharest. With ongoing detections and widespread rain forecasted, treat all precipitation as hazardous. Nuke Report At the Limerick plant in Pennsylvania, there was a manual reactor scram following the loss of the recirculation pumps. The unit is currently stable and in hot shutdown. Please contact your local news to cover this story if you live by this plant. Limerick has been on the Nuke Report list multiple times recently for a multitude of problems which is not surprising as it's been in service for 28 years. In May 2011, Limerick had two emergency shutdowns. It is important to note that the reactor design is the dreaded GE Mark I boiling water reactor, the same design as Fukushima, with the spent fuel stored on the top of the reactors with no containment. Please keep your eye on this situation if you live downwind of this plant. Resources used for today's forecast can be found at FukushimaFacts.com. Stay alert, aware, and informed, and listen to the hosts at Orion if you want to really know what's going on. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.